Hello, my name is Marcus and uh, this is my second video tutorial. So, this is what we are going to be creating. Uh, as you can see, you can, uh, I have created here a hole in the table and I, you can see the background through the hole, the front of the sofa, the carpet and the table leg there. So, let's begin. We will start right off in the Bougie. I have exported an, exported an ima image sequence out of After Effects on my footage, so uh, just load the sequence into Bushu, and uh, here everything is good, so press OK. Uh, edit camera, 25 frames per second, and uh, press track features. Uh, the default settings here are good, so press stop. Now I'm going to pause the recording during this, so uh, see you soon. Okay, now the 2D tracking is done here, and you can see there are points all over the place. So let's press camera solve and optimize camera pulse movements. Press stop. Now, now I'm, I am going to pause again. Okay, now it has finished solving and you can see the points stick to the objects in the scene and uh, I am uh, kind of rushing through uh, Bushu here because uh, I have uh, done a more in-depth tutorial already so uh, watch that if you want Yeah, and here we have the 3D points and uh, the ones that we are going to use is uh, on the table here to get make the surface, on the floor uh, to uh, be able to place the carpet under the hole and the front of the sofa to uh, place uh, the front on front of the sofa uh, under the hole. So uh, the tracking markers that we are going to need is uh, not these ones. So. Uh, I'll just delete them and uh, yeah they don't do anything do good in this tutorial uh, so and uh, the markers on the table as well so we can do that in the 3d view here uh, all the markers that are not uh, on the floor because we are going to track the table again here and uh, oh, these points are just everywhere, so I'll uh, delete them too. Those and those. So clean up a little bit. So here you can see the floor, the front of the sofa. So now let's make the oh, these points we can delete too. And of course, those two, five or six or whatever. Uh, okay, press add target tracks and. Uh, place it on the corner go back a few frames or uh, and just place it on the corner so uh, because the sole is already done it is going to stick to the corner right off because it has will create calculate the 3d position immediately so I will pause and press here I will pause uh, during uh, the rest of the tracks so uh, that this video will not, will not be too long so See, okay. Now all the four corners here are tracked, and uh, let's create or uh, make the rotate the scene. So select all the uh, target tracks here; those are red, and uh, then go to the scene geometry. Add coordinate from hint x y plane connect to selected update coordinate frame and uh, now you can see the all these points are flat and then select uh, two of the points and uh, add coordinate from hint again uh, and this time we can make this the x axis connect to selected update coordinate frame close now it sticks perfectly to 
to the grid so and we are also going to uh, you can see here is the, the floor and the points that we will be using are the ones that are already for uh, placed in a plain plain uh, kind of uh, way so uh, and here is the sofa and we will be using those markers too so uh, select these the two uh, tracking points again and scene geometry add coordinate from hint known length uh, type uh, 100 and uh, update coordinate frame close oops nothing happened let's do that again ok connect to select update coordinate frame close now the points are spread out but uh, if everything is working now it will uh, not matter so select all the points again 3d tasks generate mesh using frame go back to 2d view and now you can see the mesh is sticking perfectly to the top of the table now let's export so press browse and uh, just uh, save your track here everything's everything seems fine so press save and uh, export the mesh and uh, on yeah only export it so let's go into 3ds max